Hello, my name is Grady Johnson and I'm a professional painter and today I'm representing expertvillage.com. Okay, now we're going to go over a few of the tips you need to remember whenever you're cutting in your ceiling. Now, in the center of the room, you're going to find a chandelier, a light, or like in this case, a vent. Now, if you feel that that can be painted over or even part of it needs to be painted, use your best judgment on that. But most of the time, you're going to, going to want to just cut around that and give enough room so that you can roll around it comfortably. So what you need to do first is get a good full brush. And the way to do that is to pat that brush on the sides of your cut pot. Now when you do that, you're pushing paint into the brush. Therefore, when I'm holding my brush like this, you see nothing's dripping out. When you stick that brush in there without doing that, you see it runs out of it. But when you pat it into the sides, that holds it, and then you can control that paint when you're painting. Then you want to just start painting along the edge and just cut that in nice. And then paint a nice full line on across with your brush. Okay, now when you take a when a brush goes on a wall, you see there it made a mark. Every time you put that brush on that wall, it's making a mark. But when you pull that brush off that wall, that mark comes off. This is how you lay out paint. That's what it's called laying out the paint so that these lines are all even without any of those marks. And that's what our goal is here. And then, you know, make sure you use lots of paint. That's the trick. That's what keeps it all moving. All right, and then go ahead and pull that line all the way down. All right. All right, and we're going to pull that line down. Now, we're also going to uh, go down here in just a second and cut in that corner, and I'll show you a little bit on how to handle the tape. But right now, we want to focus on pulling this line on down as far as we can reach on our ladder. Sometimes it helps just to grab one more rung, and I'm going to do that right now. And you see, I can stretch pretty far and get it get down there. And then I can even that on out. Now, whenever I'm going on the wall, it's making a mark. And when I'm coming off the wall, it's taking that mark off. So you see here, I'm going like that. I'm making marks. I'm even in that. On, I'm just getting my paint on there. And I got all these little marks up along here. So I take my brush. I lay all that paint out, even that all out. And all those marks come out of there, and it makes a nice, smooth line. Now that's the difference between a professional paint job and something that, you know, anybody can do. Now I'm going to take that down to the corner here. Now here I'm coming up on a tape spot. Now you see there where the tape is? Now tape doesn't mean what a lot of people think. It isn't like you just want to go ahead and paint and slop up on the paint. If you do, you're going to get a pretty ragged line. Now you want to cut into the tape, but if you rub, if you rub up on the tape, you're going to be okay. And that's the way you cut in a tape line. So just pull that line along the tape and cut in that tape line. Well, our lines look pretty straight. Time to move my ladder. And then I'm going to carry this on down the wall. But these are the things you need to remember whenever you're cutting in the ceiling on the interior living room.